So what do you wear in Pittsburgh for uh, Super Sports Weekend, right? Yep. You went with your son. I would yep. have gone as well, but I already had plans for the weekend. I had these months in advance. I was going to, yeah, Game of Thrones. <laughs> The concert experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And that is where yeah. this happened. For the first time? Uh, no, uh, Sebastian, thank you for saying that. Uh, my third time. Oh, third time. third time. Well, you can't bag on her for that. So not only was I there, and not only was it the Penguins and the Steelers, yep. you know, this past yep. weekend. Yep, look yep. who else was there at the game. Ravy's own brother and her nephew. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> who I yeah. saw. Yeah, look at that. I was very happy that you guys yeah. got together. She had to yeah. go to the Game of Thrones thing. That's for right, the for the time. third time. Yeah. Third look, time. they change it up every time. Yeah. It's and your nephew did ask. Awesome. Seabass has gone to the same movie more than once. Yeah. By the yeah. way, your nephew That's did even ask. That's sillier. Not why excuse, didn't you come? Not at the excuse of a family oh, vacation, God. though. What'd you tell him? I said, I don't know, because I had forgotten about the Game of Thrones <laughs> stuff. I would have definitely mentioned that. Though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. Music is an integral part of Game of Thrones. So to see it live with an orchestra, a choir, the composer, Ramin Jawadi, it is legit cool. So while I would have loved Super Sports Weekend, absolutely, Game of Thrones... Live concert at the Hollywood Bowl, legendary venue. Mm. But it is an outdoor venue. And as the concert was going, it became obvious that it was the wrong venue for something like this. Because it was really? not as intimate. You're oh, very, yeah. very far away. A lot of talking. Mm. Thank You're you, Seabass. You're not in a dome. You're yeah. No tears. Every time I've gone, the other two times I cried. Oh, babe. Because that's how sucked <laughs> in I was. But Maybe not, it's just desensitized now. Not this yeah. time. You've seen it enough. Not this time. Now, look. As Seba said, the main problem, the people behind us. Right. Oh, no. So how we were sitting, there were four of my friends in front of me, and then me and my other friend were behind them. So there's six of us in this group, right? And the Game of Thrones live concert experience is about two and a half hours. Mm. Wow. There's a 20-minute intermission. So just like you would be seeing an orchestra show if you were going. Yeah. You know? So Whatever that's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there were a group of six behind us, okay? Now... Three dudes, three chicks. And the dudes were sitting behind me and my friend for the first half. At one point during the first half, a woman in my row, a few seats down, gets up, turns around, and starts screaming at the chicks behind her. I thought, <laughs> there's going to be a throwdown uh, at the Game of Thrones concert experience. Was there any ramp up to this? Uh, Just going from zero to screaming? What I was hearing behind me... They were like dropping bottles of wine. Oh, like they okay. would, mm. they would, yeah. you know, everybody would fill up and they would drop, I think, 12 bottles minimum. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Craig's family was going down. Six, yeah. okay. You could bring all that into the venue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring it, bring your own booze. Yeah. I think maybe they all showed up with the maximum amount of wine because they all had like carry bags <laughs> right. and yeah. stuff. So this woman gets up legit pissed. She's like, grow up. Act like adults. This isn't Taylor Swift. And I was like, Oh wow! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. bringing, bringing in T Swizzle. Was this also a nerd like chick? Um, someone who's serious. I think she was somebody who was just there to like enjoy the night, right. like we all were. Yeah. She wasn't cosplaying okay. or anything mm. like that, but she was legit pissed. <laughs> so these drunk girls, like they mocked her a little bit. They were making fun of her. I kind of heard that, and I thought, Oh gosh! But they weren't really bothering me. So like I said, the dudes are behind us. Yeah. And so in the first half, they played some of my favorite stuff. The theme, obviously, Reigns of Castamere, other stuff like that. But yeah, right. that yes, one, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. my favorite. There were two pieces of music that they didn't play that are my absolute faves that I knew were gonna play in the second half. So intermission happens. These chicks go to the bathroom, and what happens is the boys move down. So now the drunk chicks are behind me. Oh, uh -oh. no. Okay. Okay. So then, <laughs> so the woman who's so mad, once intermission wraps, gets security. Security comes over, talks to these drunk chicks, tells them to settle down. No Fs given. They literally mock security right to his face, <laughs> and he does nothing and leaves. All right. I'm like, we are in trouble. Is he getting yeah. back up? I mean, what's going no, on? No, he just left. Like, and oh, he well, never done, saw done. security I'll try. I'll wash my again. Hands. <laughs> Yeah. They keep pouring. They keep saying, mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm so drunk. <laughs> Are you drunk? I'm so drunk. Was it Julianne? Are you guys drunk? Because I'm so drunk. Where's the wine? Pour me more. I'm like, uh. oh God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then my two favorite pieces, at least they play early. 
You guys are familiar with the light of the seven. Yes. Oh, who is right. When right. Cersei right. blows up the sept, it's right. incredible. Right. Totally. It's an yeah. incredible totally. moment. Woo. I loved it. Joe time. Yeah. You're familiar with the winds of winter when oh, Daenerys yes. finally yeah. decides to sail for Westeros. For Westeros. Yes. Woo. So it happened pretty early in the second half, so I was good. Then it goes to music from season seven and eight. Not everybody's favorite. Right. So I was less in, engaged a totally. little bit, and I was more aware of what they're doing. They have obviously seen the show. Because in addition to, oh, I'm so drunk, they're like, oh, my God, Cersei, yes. Cer-. Like, they're just yelling out character <laughs> names. Yeah. They're like, oh, Jamie is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> incest, incest, incest. I'm like, okay. oh, wow. Sitting there like, what am I going to do? Starting to boil. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure how to react. And then all of a sudden, I look down and I'm like, huh, there's a phone next to my foot. And it's obviously one of their phones. It's got a pink skin with butterflies on it. Of course it does. Yeah. Like, huh. Huh. So what do you think I did? Did I, A, turn around, give it back, and said, since I did something nice for you, do something nice for me, shut the F up, or get the F out? No. No way. No. No. Next. Did you have any backup with you? Yeah, I had five people with me. Oh. Next. Did I move it with my foot and push it under the seats in front of me? Or did I see, excuse myself, go to the restroom and casually drop it in a garbage can? Wow. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm I think going C you, all day. I'm, I'm going C. C is the power C. move. All day. C is the C move. No, yeah. I think you uh, took your foot and then you slid it to under the seats in front of you. Okay. Oh, I think you might be right because she wouldn't yeah. get up and go to the bathroom. Hmm. It is a yeah, two and no, a half hour plus thing. She said it was during the time that she didn't really care about. Yeah, mm-hmm. well... I think she simply mm-hmm. relocated the phone to another area that wouldn't be right under her, and she can go, no, I don't see it. Sorry, but her huh? concern was, is this criminal? That's certainly not criminal. Like, getting rid of it might be. Well, then she, yeah. then she kind of backpedaled a little bit and said it would be against her moral code. True. Criminal. Taking the phone C. would be more actual. Yeah. Taking the phone yeah, would be theft. Bigger crime. crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This I'm, is just simply relocating. I'm going C. Mm-hmm. I hope it was C. Yeah, relocating <laughs> in the trash. I'm going, going B. B. I'm going C. Uh, the bees have it. Oh, wow. damn it. So you slid it with your foot. So Not I, that could, I could just move my move my foot, put my foot on it, slide, 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 <laughs> slide to under the seats in front of me. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so basically, I'm watching the show, but like I said, I'm not thoroughly engaged because it's seven season season seven and eight, and I'm listening for something specific. Which Where's my phone? And then I heard it. Mm. Zippers. Zip, 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 zip. That's what I was waiting for because that's how I know, oh, where's my phone? And it's, she's opening all these zippers okay. and bags behind her mm. to see if she can locate it. I'm like, yes. Like, oh, <laughs> I know where it Maniacal. is. So now she's like, uh, yeah, yeah, phone. I think I left my phone in the bathroom. And she, so she's telling her friend, yeah, I'm going to take your phone to the bathroom, and then I'm going to call my phone, and you look out for my phone, and I'll call the phone, and I'm g-. So it's like- The last person I'm giving my phone to is the person who just <laughs> lost their phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I guess that's what happened, because she gets up. She nearly dies on the steps, which was awesome. <laughs> she missed, like, two of them and, like, slid down. She didn't land on her face, but she landed on her ass, uh-huh. but, and it really hurt. I was like, sweet. So you caused that. <laughs> I'm okay with that, but you know, to quote her, I'm so drunk. So it's n- no wonder she can't get down the steps. So a few minutes later, my friend, who's sitting in front of me, turns around and said, "There's a phone down here," and she has it in her oh, hand okay. because it's ringing, and she saw oh, it. Yeah, she yeah, saw yeah. it glowing. Oh, man. <laughs> now, what did I say to her? A, leave it where you found it. Two, turn it off immediately. Or C. Sucks for them. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Better be C. Uh, D, throw it down. What, what was the, <laughs> yeah, I would have said slide it to the seat in front of you. Right. Uh, they There was nothing in front of oh, them. Oh, okay. It was a row one and two situation. Okay. Mm, let's say, I hope you said turn it off. Mm, I'm going to say put it back where you found it. Okay. Yeah, silence it. Turn it off. Give it to a yeah. homeless guy. <laughs> Basically, all I could come up with was leave it where you found it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So she, right. so she puts it okay. back down, she turns it over, uh-huh. and basically there it remained. 
I, I think the drunk chick came back from the bathroom. I was unaware. I was just basically kind of like <laughs> feeling myself and how much I was loving what just happened. So the end of the show happens. Fireworks at the end. So that was a dope part about having it outdoors. And then at the very end, they play a death reel of everybody that died during the show. So that took mm-hmm. at least five to ten minutes. Yeah. And never found it. Never said anything. <laughs> yeah. They left before we did. So they carted oh, they all their stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what happened after that. Did they put on, did they do the find my iPhone? They were way too drunk to realize oh, that totally. find my iPhone was a deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it worked. Yeah. And I guarantee you one of those chicks barfed in the Uber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so my last question, how am I feeling about it today? Surprised Ooh. by my behavior, a little bit guilty, or no Fs given? <laughs> I think she's feeling a little bit guilty. A little bit Agreed. guilty. Yeah. No. Yep. Guilty for what? I think she's feeling a little bit guilty. And she probably went back to the venue the next day, got her phone. It was in the lost and found. Like most likely, yes. But how am I feeling about it today? A little guilty. Shouldn't be yeah. guilty. Menace. Well, no guilty. I feel a little bit guilty. Ah, well, why? Do it. Like that night, I was mighty You're Thor. It. I yeah. was a hero. <laughs> I ruled. <laughs> Everybody loved it. The next day, I was like, "Wow, <laughs> I like legit." Took somebody's phone, scraped it up. Dragged it along cement mm-hmm. and kicked it under seats. So technically, that would be destruction of property. <laughs> and knew they knew. Well, I'm or assuming. Like, I didn't right. like, yeah, like scratch it up. Maybe yeah. I didn't step on it extra hard, but yeah. it was glass side down. Hmm. I don't think. I don't know if that's a crime. That's a good question. I mean, if it scratched it up. Now, if you guys lost a phone at the Game of Thrones show on. Uh, <laughs> <you're> right. <laughs> 1-800-782. Yeah. <laughs> we know where it's at. Bank with butterflies. <laughs> Do you, I, I don't think these chicks remember being at the Game of Thrones show. Yeah. They were so wasted. <laughs> and, you know, Greg says, I'm a pusher for weed. I will just say, we had all had edibles. We were there. We were nicely chilled. We were having a great time. And alcohol turned these people into complete a-holes. Weed all day. Oh, I told you that's what happened to me. This is one big advertisement for weed. <laughs> yeah. Weed all day. That's weed, how we bro. ramp it up. Alcohol sucks. Go for weed. All right. Well, there's uh, Ramey's Adventure. The right. yeah. confessional. Did you guys think it was lame? Was this it not Tuesday as takeover. advertised? No, I, I was no. good. It's okay. Fine. I thought you'd that's be a Ramey little more gangster. Right yeah. yeah. What's that? Trash. I thought phone. you were going to say you smashed it with yeah. your yeah. You crushed it. I, just my thought was, oh, I'm going to move this because I just wanted to see how it played out. <laughs> <laughs>